Okay, so we're now having a look at parallel vectors and collinearity. So in 2D, like so in two dimensions, we know lines are parallel if their gradients are the same. Okay, um, and we've known that for since doing level four, right? So you know lines are parallel lines if their gradients are equal. Okay, so that's just a wee reminder. Okay, so with vectors, we know that they are parallel. We know that they are parallel. If the vectors are um, some multiple k, okay, so they're a multiple of each other. Okay, so that can be anything. It can be a fraction um, or a whole number. So this means like if a is equal to some constant k, b, the lines are parallel. So that, an example of this, so if we've got a which is equal to 4, 6, 2. And we've got B, which is equal to 6, um, 9, and 3. Okay. Okay, well, A we can think of as being 2, like we can take out a factor of 2 um, to give us 2, 3, 1. And B, we can do the same um, and take a factor out and get 2, 3, 1. But it's 3 times that instead. So therefore, A and B are parallel as A is equal to 2 thirds of B in that case. Yeah? So as long as you get any kind of fraction or any multiple of each other, those lines are parallel. Okay, so um, we'll go on and talk about collinearity. Right, so first things first is what is collinearity? So things are said to be collinear or if they are in a straight line. So that means like three points are collinear if they're all on the straight line, um, the same straight line. Um, so for example, if you've got a line and you're plotting points, those are all collinear. Um, any points on one line that you can pick, they're collinear. Um, there's lots of different kind of ways that things are collinear. So collinear means on the same line, so or like in a straight line. Um, okay. Right. So with three-dimensional vectors, there are two things that we can use to prove collinearity. So like in two dimensions, it's a bit easier to prove that points are collinear, but when you get into three dimensions, it becomes a bit more difficult, right? So for collinearity with vectors, there are two things you need. First thing is that the lines are parallel. Okay, so like with um, 
two lines, like gradients in two dimensions, the gradients are the same, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're in a straight line, just because they're parallel. Okay, and the other thing you need is there to be a point in common. So, right, so the most important thing, scale we need to do to be able to prove collinearity is to be able to prove that the lines are parallel. And as long as the lines are parallel and there's a point in common between the two lines or the two vectors um, in this case, then they are collinear. Okay, one of the really important things on this, which I will stress over and over again, as we're doing the examples, is that for these you need to write a sentence at the end. You can't just do the work and leave it, you need to s explain and say your answer. Right, so an example would be, are the points A, which is going to be 4, 3, 7, B, which is 6, minus 1, and 3, and C, which is going to be the point, so we 10, minus 9, and minus 5. Um, and we're saying, are they collinear? Right, so what we have to do to be able to solve collinearity questions is we have to find the vector from A to B, find the vector from B to C, and then if they are parallel, they've got that point B in common, which means that they are collinear. Right, so we find A to B, which is B take away A, so we get 6 minus 1, 3, take away, and then A, which is 4, 3, 7. So when we do that, we get 6 take away 4, which is 2. We get minus 1 take away 3, which is minus 4. And then we get 3 take away 7, which is also minus 4. Okay. And then for our second one, we've got to find B to C. So B to C is C take away B. So we have 10 minus 9, minus 5, take away 6, minus 1, 3. So we have 10 take away 6, which is 4. Um, we've got minus 9 take away minus 1, so that's minus 9 plus 1, which is minus 8. And then we've got minus 5 take away 3, which is minus 8. And we can think of that as being taking out a factor of 2. So we get 2 minus 4 minus 4. Okay, so there you can see that these points are parallel because one is a multiple of the other. Um, and we've had point B in both of those, so that is telling us that there's that point in common. So we've got the two points, or the two things we need for collinearity. So now we need to write a sentence. So therefore, A, B, and B, C are collinear. as they are parallel. Okay, and then just a little explanation of why they're parallel. So you can say as BC is equal to 2AB. Okay, so explaining what we're doing, always assuming that the person who's marking this doesn't know what they're talking about. Obviously they do but you have to assume that they don't. Okay, so AB and BC are collinear as they are parallel, as BC equals 2AB, and B is a common point. So that's just saying they're all in a straight line. Okay, so that's what collinearity is, is that they're in a straight line. Okay, so I'm going to do another example of this. Okay, so another way that the parallel vectors and collinearity questions can be phrased is that they can ask you to prove whether or not the points are collinear. Okay, so 
it could say prove prove whether or not the points let's this time call them P Q R are collinear where P is the point four minus one seven Q is the point three four and ten and then R is the point R is going to be zero um, 18 and 16. Okay, so we have to prove whether or not these points are collinear. So the way to do this is to find out if these lines are parallel with the point in common. If they are, then they're collinear. If they are not, then they are not collinear. Right, so we do PQ, which is Q take away P. Remember, it's always the second one, take away the first one. So we get 3, 4, 10 minus 4 minus 1, 7. So we get 3 take away 4, which is minus 1. 4 take away minus 1, which is 5. And then 10 take away 7, which is 3. Okay, and then we have QR, which is R take away Q. So we have 0, 18, 16, take away 3, 4, 10. Okay, so we've got 0 minus 3, which is minus 3. Okay, so it's looking like it could be something at the moment, but we can't tell for certain. And then we've got 18 take away 4, and we've got 14. Oh, something's gone wrong, right? Um, well, not necessarily, but... Then we've got 16 take away 10, which is 6. So you can see here that there is no multiple we can pick that will make these parallel. Because like, if we take out a factor out of um, the second one, it would need to be minus 3, 15, 9 for it to be um, any like a multiple of PQ. Okay, so these aren't parallel, so we just need to say that. Okay, so... That means that the points, okay, remember I said we need to always put a sentence in case of the points P, Q, and R are not collinear as P, Q is not parallel. to QR. Okay, so just a reminder, the points of this one is looking at parallel vectors. Um, if they're a multiple of each other, so if you can take out a factor and get the same vector, then they are parallel. And if there is a point in common between two vectors that are parallel, then they are collinear. Okay, um, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you, I promise. And that's us for parallel vectors and collinearity.